Alright guys, I'll give you an update on what's going on here. So, the CV shaft, because they're longer, and the long travel has more travel, it's actually hitting right here and right here on the inner. Where that is clearanced, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clearance these a little bit more through the inner of the out. Uh, didn't blow this portion of the tripod up or the tripod up itself or it didn't crack the shaft. So it's obviously not hitting too much. All right, so I worked on it a little bit, got it real smoothed out. I'm working it into these corners and then down these flats too. I mean, the tripod's probably only traveling out to about here. So all of this work I'm doing isn't gonna interfere with that. Um, but you can see, but you can see that the difference between this and this. So you can see those huge, these big edges here and this big edge here is where it's rubbing. It doesn't look like it's rubbing anywhere here in the middle or down here at all on the end of this chamfer. So basically what I'm trying to do is make it that center height uh, all the way across and then extend it in a little bit and then work it into this corner. All right, guys, that's what I finished with. You can see there's a ton more clearance on all of these. Uh, the camera's picking up the scratches in the surface, but it's super smooth. Like, um, This is the depth that it was stopped, so it's almost double that chamfer is almost twice as deep and it's a lot shallower and these corners are missing uh, so you can definitely see a huge difference in what they were back here like this radius was right here you can probably see it better right here and I completely knocked those corners off so it's flat and if this isn't enough at least it will flow around this a lot better. Now I'm gonna put it back together and kind of see how it looks. So right there is where it was binding at. That's the spot on the shaft. You can see that spot worn down on that side of the shaft. Um, and you can see that the tangent point of that wheel is still well below what we were grinding on, which that's all it needs for the strength because the tangent point of that wheel is the only spot that there's uh, going to be putting pressure. So that should still uh, maintain all of the strength that it had previously. And that's kind of what I was going off of um, on how much I wanted to relieve. So I'm going to do the other side. Um, I'm not going to do it today because I want to test this one out and make sure I don't have any issues with it first. Um, I do have two or three spare, at least two. I think I have three spare inners uh, and two spare outers. Um, so if one of them does break, yes, it will suck, but uh, it'll be easy to get it sorted. I carry an inner and an outer with me. Uh, an inner would be pretty easy to swap on the trail if I had to. 
uh, that would be that big of a deal. But since it is front locked, all I would have to do is pop the CV out, put the inner in, put the outer in without the shaft in, uh, and run it with the front locker if I needed it, and I would still have three wheel drive, which is um, still gonna get me out of most of what I would need, I imagine, if not I can winch or whatever. Uh, I am gonna do have plans to get another shaft um, and build up another set. I'm working with uh, one FJ, one Taco with that. Um, so whenever we get around to that and it works out for both of us, um, we're gonna do that. So then I'll have a complete other axle. But what I don't want to do is do this to both sides and then have the other have and then weaken these a lot. I don't think it's going to weaken them at all. Um, I'm pretty confident it's going to be really nice. So the reason I started with this side was because I was getting vibration out of it anyway. Uh, so I go ahead, took it apart, checked everything. Everything looked really good. The outer is pretty tight. Um, and I know it has plenty of grease in it, but it, the, the joint is pretty tight. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I do have extras, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so next time I wheel it, we'll see uh, if I don't have any issues. Next time I go out with this side, then I'm going to go ahead and take the other side apart and clearance that side too. So what I want to show you guys is before, without the wheel on, I could not spin this all the way around. Um, originally, uh, I could never feel it because I always had the wheels straight and with the wheels on it I could rotate it around and I didn't feel anything. Uh, when I took the wheels off recently and had it f the steering wheel completely full lock one way I could not physically turn it all the way around by hand and you could see it trying to pull down on the inner so I put the wheel on at full lock and I could still do it and you could I could actually rotate it all the way around with the leverage of the wheel on it and you could see it actually pulling the inner down. Um, so the inner CV is actually being torqued down as I was doing this, which cannot be good for any of the drivetrain. So that's when I decided to dive in and started reading a little bit about this issue with the All Pro kit having the most uh, travel and not having limit straps. People ran into this issue breaking inner cages uh, or inner tripods, whatever you want to call it. So I decided to tackle this on my own, and since no one had made a video on what I did in this, uh, hopefully this helps some people out. But I can spin this now all the way around uh, with little effort. Uh, so it was definitely, definitely binding. And so like right here is where it would be binding at, and it's definitely not. So I'm pretty happy with the results of that. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I put the wheel on, got some more weight on it, tightened everything up, rotated it, and I still don't feel anything um, at all. So, four wheel drive locked in the front. I don't know, the more stuff you add, the more binding you can get. I'll be really, really curious to see uh, how it all works. Um, and then I'll get the other side done as soon as I can and uh, go with it from there, assuming this ha doesn't have any issues. So I'm pretty excited about that. Don't forget, if you pull your CV out, you do lose a little bit of fluid. I always shove a paper towel in there. Uh, but I still always top it off when I'm done. I do have a front diff leak. I thought it was coming out of the breather because uh, the breather popped off, so I put the breather back on, cleaned everything up, and it's still leaking a little bit. Looked like it's leaking where the actuator tube meets the clamshell. So I'm gonna pull all that apart, which is fine. I say I'm everything and more, and you can't tell me any different. You knew rap is cool, but you fought from competition. The best white rapper to emerge is 9 11. Send me suicidal beats, I get them all in the heaven. I got some pull with the man, I'll even pull for your man. Although we don't like my music, his girl's a hell of a fan. 
Today's Mike Jordan, but I'm fading from humble. I slam my chest like Harambe, they gain respect from the jungle. Said I'm the clutch man, I'm clutch man. Feeling like the jump man. Flinching at legends, laughing out loud when they jump man. There's something about the things that I never got. So focused on myself.